and Charlotte Vick. Are you filming this? Yep. Oh, hey. I can see you guys there. I don't know if you've noticed, but this looks like an Instagram. This is an Instagram. Oh, look. It's my Instagram. Do you follow my Instagram? Or no? Do you follow my Instagram, bro? You have Instagram? What the f... I thought you were on YouTube. Yo, I thought you followed me. No, I don't. You're whack, dude. I thought you were my friend. I'm your camera guy. Oh, so we're not friends? Nah. Okay, whatever. Well, we're gonna do Snapchat Q&A, so... We could just forget the fact that we're not friends, and I don't like you. I like you guys, I don't like you. Okay. Who? You. Okay. Show them. Show them. Yep. See? Okay. So, I, I asked you guys to ask me questions. Um, they didn't have to be finished today. They could be about life, they could be about love, they could be about relationships, they could be about business. Uh, love advice is probably not going to be the best because I have really bad luck all the time, but that's a whole other story. We won't talk about that. But let's see what you guys come up with. Yo, I have bad reception, dog. Whoa. What's your favorite muscle? Besides chest. I have to say that one So like, yeah. I have to replay that. Oh, look at that. What's your favorite muscle group to work? Besides chest. I have to say that one's back. So like, yeah. Oh yes. My favorite muscle group to work. Obviously. Calves. Calves, bro. I love working calves. No, arms, of course. Is there a way to do arms while squatting? There's a way to do arms while doing everything. There's always a way to do arms. You just gotta, like, get creative. Okay? If you could live anywhere in the entire world besides America, where would it be? Italy. If I could live anywhere in the entire world besides America, where would it be? It'd be Italy. Because I went on a trip when I was young to Italy, and I loved it, and I'm gonna go back. And it was wonderful, and the food was amazing, and everybody was very laid back, and I like that. So Italy, that's where I live. I don't know where in Italy, but Italy. And it's beautiful. Bradley, do you have any tips for eating on a college budget? <sighs> Drop out of college. No, I'm kidding. Um, eating on a college budget, man. I definitely experienced that. Um, <laughs> what I did, because I was broke shit at one point when I was in college, and college tuition just keeps seemed to keep like rising and rising. And I, I eventually dropped out personally, and I'm not telling you guys to do that, but I'm just gonna pay for it at some point. But when I was in college and the food that I was eating, so I was going to like the dollar store and buying like top ramen, so that's easy. You can go to like Walmart, you go to like, uh, I don't know, you know, Ralph's or whatever, whatever grocery stores. I used to eat a lot of eggs, because eggs were cheap. I used to eat a lot of, like, spam, because it's cheap as hell. Um, bread, to get carbs in. Um, those things you could buy very, like, cost-effectively. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get the most, like, creative food, but you still get in the macros, if that's your goal. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you definitely have to get creative with the, with the stuff. It's gonna be boring most of the time, but you can eat the right kinds of like proteins or whatever you need to get enough calories in. You just have to like go out of your way and kind of like find those things and, and do what you can with like the little that you have. But I've been there, I know what it's like for sure. Um, so yeah, that dollar store top ramen though, that was the hitter for sure. Got a lot, a lot of sodium, so when I went to squat I felt like nice and juicy. <laughs> Swollen, my face and my ankles. Um, would you rather never have to wait in line at Chipotle and never have to wait for another bag of Sour Patch Kids. Wait, never have to wait in line at Chipotle or never have to wait for what? Another bench. Another bench? Another bench? Another bench press. He talked about Sour Patch Kids, didn't he? I have no idea what he said. Well, hold on a second. Replay for- What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Show Replay me. for a dollar? Show me. Read this shit. You don't have any more replay. Who the fuck is Snapchat? Who do they think they are? I'm about to cancel Snapchat. You do, did they see this shit? Replay for a dollar. Fuck out of here, man. Send me that snap again, King Lopez, 10, 8, 10, 19. That's stupid. Stupid Snapchat. Oh, yeah, assholes. All right, anyways, my Snapchat rant is done. Let's get back to this. Why did you start working out and set the goal for yourself to be bigger than the Hulk? <laughs> We answered a question, but I'll answer it again because I like the question. Why did I start working out? 
And why did I decide to be bigger than the Hulk? Okay. First one, why did I start working out? Working out for me was uh, an outlet. Um, I guess I kind of started with sports and then I found the love of like, I actually just liked working out. Um, but it was an outlet, it was an outlet for anything, for like stress, for you know, heart trips, whatever you're going through in your life. It was just something that, it was a consistent thing. Um, you know, there's like, there's like some quote out there, like the iron never lies, right? The thing is it always stays consistent. The gym is always consistent, 45 pounds, always 45 pounds. And you just go in there and you challenge yourself and it was a way to like break away from um, the stress or like the thought of like, maybe there's certain things you had to do but you were stressed out about doing them. And the gym was just a way to like go and do something that would always be consistent, would always be the same, would never change. And it just found comfort in that. And then it just became something that I did every single day. Something that I just like, I, I went for in my mind. Like no matter what I was doing, some point in the day, it was like everything I was doing was, was focused or like revolved around like coming back to that point of like, okay, I need to work out at some point. Uh, I need, and then everything else like stacked on it. Like, okay, I need to eat food because I need to work out. I need to sleep because I need to work out. I need to not be stressed out because I want to have a good workout. So everything just started like going towards like enhancing that because I liked it so much. And then it, it just became my life. And obviously now it's become my job, right? And I guess I wouldn't want to really consider it a job, but because it's such a passion of mine, but it definitely has become a way for me um, to make a living. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for you guys to, you know, give to me and, and help enhance my life and I hope I'm able to do the same for you guys. So it's kind of just called for a circle. It started as just like a, an escape from things and it's just become like the thing that I do and I fucking love it. So, you know, shit. And I guess for you guys, figure out what you really love and if you do what you really love every day, you be able to figure out a way to make a living from it. Um, I do really believe that, no matter what it is. I think I think there's there's definitely a need for people who are passionate about doing something. Like for example, um, this guy that I always talk about so much shit, uh, Stu's back to Dean. He actually loves filming, right? So this is this is not working out. I mean, he's weak as shit. So like, we won't talk about his working out stuff. <coughs> sorry, uh, fuck. <coughs> weak as fuck. <coughs> and the point is though, excuse me, I'm, gonna, I'm this is my video. I need sorry, to, yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I know you had a cough, but yeah. it's okay. Point is, he really likes to film. He likes. He wants to be a director. Like, and he and I believe that he can do those things because he actually gives a shit about what he's doing, and he's passionate about it. He cares about it. He puts his work and his, his like time into it, and that's why these videos come out so damn good. But then also, it's just he's been able to turn that into something that he's obviously passionate about, but then he can make a living doing it. So, and he's just breaking my bank. So like, he's, this guy charging me so much money, bro. I hate this fucking. That's why. That's why I hate this guy. Fuck with him. Fuck that guy. <laughs> All right, next question. That was a long ass question, man. That's okay. Sorry. Oh, we can't keep, we just, I, we can't, I'm sorry, we got two. We got us. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't be upset with me. Was it the same girl? Hey, yeah. For GNC. Why? Uh, I came here. Damn. Yo, Brett, what is your favorite shoulder workout? My favorite shoulder workout is Snapchatting with my shirt off and like putting my shoulder up like this so I look extra big like you just did. No, my favorite shoulder workout, um, oh man, I don't even know if I have just one. What do you think? I like, what do you think? I like military presses, whether it be like seated or standing. What about you? I like side lateral. Side laterals. Honestly, man, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily have a favorite, but I, I, a lot of people ask me like, what's my favorite, this or that? Like, Cause I think they want to figure out like, what's the best? And there's no like best. You gotta understand like, just do it all. Like fuck it, go hard, go hard everywhere. Like do it all, all the time. Like especially arms every day, like no breaks. Um, like just right here is for the most break I get from doing arms. Like right when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go like get a set of curls. Cause like I need to get it in. <laughs> I'm not serious, but try not to like, if, if your goal is trying to figure out what my favorite exercise is, is to like isolate ones you should do. That's not a good idea. Don't don't try and like strict yourself to like just do these one exercise. Like do figure out what works for you and what you like the most. Okay. Oh, look at that wallpaper though. Shit. Okay. Mr. Brad Martin, I got a question for you. What is your opinion on carb supplements and BCAAs during your workout? Do you think it helps? Do you do it, or should anyone else go? This is actually a cool question. A really cool question. I'm coming out with some products for my supplement line, um, just like that actually. I'm actually a big believer because I've, I've seen the difference just firsthand in my own workouts. Um, taking like BCAs, 
and EAAs while I'm working out with carbs. Um, for example, a carb that I like a lot, that I like to include, um, things like carbolin or fast acting carbs. Um, I just notice I get a, like, because I like to work out and kind of take my time sometimes, and my workouts will kind of get stretched on, and I notice when I have like sugars during my workout with some BCAAs, EAAs, I always have like fuller pumps, better pumps, so definitely some merit to doing that. I mean, um, I'm not talking on a science level because I've never done any personal research on it, but personally, I guess I've done my own experiments and I've, I've noticed different trends. So I do like to take those things during my workout. So, and I will be coming out with stuff like that for my line. Yo, Brad, how do you work that lower chest of yours? Thanks. Uh, lower chest, so what do you like? I like decline. Just flat bench works. Just flat bench, incline, and decline. <laughs> Just do it all. Don't try and like, oh, just one thing. Like I said earlier, don't try and isolate these exercises. Um, you're gonna get more out of like doing the variation of them all for your chest to get the best effect from it. Instead of like just doing, trying to do one thing to bring something up. Um, okay. What up, man? Um, I have a question. Does your logo mean anything? Like, how did you think of it? Um, I mean, it's sick. I just, I don't know if it meant anything to you or not. My question is, how come every leg day I train arms, and um, bro, when are you? How come every leg day he trains arms? I mean, you're doing it right. This is what you're doing. You're you're clearly doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like that legs is just code for arms. So you're doing good. I'm proud of you, bro. Every day is arm day for life. But don't skip legs though, because you need to do that too. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Bradley, uh, you're one of my biggest inspirations. Um, I just started working out. I'm 15, and I'm looking for some tips. Thanks. So that wasn't really a question. Um, looking for some tips. I can't really, I can't really answer that specifically. But check out some of my old videos on the beginner section. I've done like tons of videos up to this point. But check out the beginner um, playlist, and there's a ton of like routines and things that you can do to get, you know, an effect. So check that out. Bradley, is Burger King macro friendly? In and out, bro. Burger King is not the king. In and out is the is the uncrowned king. So go to In and Out, man. I'm not even In and Out don't even pay me. But Burger King is trash compared to In and Out. So if you want to fight me, come fight me. I'm at Barbell Brigade. What's the address here? Six four six Gibbons. Yes, yeah, come see me, bro. Six four six Gibbons, Los Angeles, in the hood. Not in the hood. In the hood. Not in the hood. I mean, it's not in the hood, but like, we're in the hood. Well, inside the gym is the hood. Wait. Is the gym. So we're not in the hood. No, we're not in the hood. We go to the hood of the car, but that's pretty much it. What is this? It's not a question. Oh, that's my gym that I work at. <laughs> uh, kind of weird. Right. Yeah. I want to know, how do you study for a test? <laughs> oh, shit. He got me. Uh, how do I study for a test? When I was in college, yeah, I don't even know if I should tell them this. I shouldn't tell them this. It's like bad advice. I'm not gonna tell you that. I didn't do a lot of studying. I did a lot of uh, case studies. Like, um, I listened really well. That's what I did in college. I didn't do a lot of studying, no. I wasn't that great. And if it was something that I didn't, I didn't get immediately, I kinda like, didn't do good on the test. So, let's see what else we got. What's your views on weight gain? Uh, I think honestly, if your goal is to gain weight, uh, I would look to food before you look to a supplement. If you're not getting enough food in to gain the weight, then maybe add like a weight gainer to like fill in that gap. If you're not able to eat physically, like physically eat enough. But if you're able to physically eat enough, um, your better bet is to eat solid food than to eat, you know, a weight gainer. So I think most people like they try and like make it easier. Like okay, instead of like buying three more meals or eating three more like meals of like chicken or rice or whatever it is, they're like, I'll just take this weight gainer and that'll be enough. But it's not. Like if you can get those meals in, then do it. And if you can't because you physically cannot stomach any more food, then a weight gainer is a good option. So. Yo, Bradley, if you're doing like a non-Olympic style with like a standing barbell curl, how should your foot positioning be? Or does it even matter? Um, okay, that was a cool question. So he asked me like, if you're doing like, 
just like a standing barbell curl, and I'm assuming like standing raises or standing whatever, where should your feet position be? Uh, whenever I stand like, and I wanna be strict, like I'll do like military style and keep my feet together and just really focus on like squeezing my glutes and staying upright. So if you're doing a standing curl, keep your feet together. But it's really where you're comfortable. Um, as long as you're not swaying a bunch, and that's, that's really like the takeaway for these other standing exercises, like the curl or like the rows or raises, whatever. Just try not to sway a bunch, keep your body upright and use the leverages instead of like you using the, you know, the momentum of like moving the body. Okay. No, you already asked a question, bro. What's good, Brad? Driving home from the gym, just killed it. Got a question. Why is it that obese people always try to give you tips on a diet? <laughs> oh, shit. Nadim, why do you always try to give me tips on diet? Because I'm a beast, like you just said. Like obese? A beast. A beast person. A beast. A beast person? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to answer this, man. Honestly, like, I think no matter who you are, no matter if you're big, small, skinny, fat, it doesn't really matter. I think everyone is just trying to, like, if they're trying to tell you something, they're trying to give you two cents because they think it could help you. Um, take it for what it is. I, I, I'm not the kind of person where, like, if someone comes up to me and they want to give me advice, I'll be like, nah, bro, fuck you. I know what I'm doing, you piece of shit. And I'm not saying you need to be like that because I feel like you shouldn't. Take what someone says, digest that information, take it for what it is and what you can make it out to be. And if you can apply it, apply it. If not, then don't apply it. Um, I mean, hear them out, you know, unless they wanna like talk to you for like half an hour and you're like really busy and you gotta go somewhere, then you gotta go. But um, I think you could learn something from everybody, no matter what it is, you know, or if you feel like you know it already, I think you can learn something from everybody, whether or not they're in crazy good shape or not. But hear them out and, and you'll be able to like, uh, sift through the bullshit, like I say, or like I would like to say, or like I say to people. I've never said that to you, though. To what? Sifting through your bullshit, like you always just spit bullshit out. When I, I gotta advice? sift through it. Yeah, I'm like, that's dumb. Like, uh, when I was like, hey, bro, let's start filming. And you're like, sift through your bullshit. I was like, all right, peace out, man. <laughs> you're like, no, no, no. This never happened. And then uh, I was like, you know what, bro? You should start an Instagram. And you're like, shut up, bro. I bro, like, I didn't even know you when I started. I started Instagram like fucking 100 years ago. I started I Instagram when Instagram was Instagram. When Instagram started. Does it? I mean... I use Instagram when people still use Facebook. That doesn't That's how OG I am, bro. Okay. I made Instagram. You I wrote Instagram. the app code. You did? Talk to, talk to... Okay, give yeah. me like three letters that Instagram starts with. I-N-G. <laughs> I mean, I... You think about <laughs> Stagram. <laughs> Stagram, all right. Fuck you. Okay, last you. one. I got you, though. No, you didn't. have to wear this backwards swag and everybody still confuses me for you even though i'm obviously much bigger than you for sure obviously obviously bro like that's a con i mean that happens a lot you know to swag it's just so hard that they're like you know they gotta it's okay it's okay it's okay what 30 20 minutes holy shit this is a long video last one Bradley, I'm 15 years old. I just got hurt on you doing squats. Is there any way to build big leg felt squats? I'm done. No. No. You need squats. Learn to do them properly because you, you got injured. Don't jump back into them right away without learning to the form properly and make sure you're 100% okay before you do it again. Otherwise, you will hurt yourself again. But you need squats, man, for sure. You, you can get big legs and do other stuff, but like, what, what are big legs if they're not strong? Like, who gives a shit, right? Right. Right, so, signing out. I'm out! Follow my Instagram and shit, and YouTube, you're here, but follow it anyways, and Snapchat and stuff, and uh, buy all my shit, yay. <laughs> I'm out! Hey, sign out, we have done that, for real. Let's do the other video. All right, bye. All right, bye. Dude, stop feeling my butt, bro. Uh, see the glutes? See the glutes? Come on, man. Put the rest of these videos. I hate shit. We gotta watch all these. We're done. We're done.